Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the table below gives details of consumption of coal in the generation of electricity in a thermal power station in each quarter for the years 1995 to 1997. Calculate four quarterly moving averages. Show these moving averages on a graph. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the procedure for calculating four yearly moving averages. For this we will draw a table and in this the values for the particular years will be given to us and we will find the four yearly moving total, the four yearly moving average and the four yearly moving average center. First of all we will find four yearly moving total. For this we will add the values of the first four years that is these four years and place the total in between the second and third years. So we will add these four values and we will place the total in between second and third year so it will be A plus B plus C plus D here in between second and third year and let it name as A1. Now in the next step we will leave first year value and we will add the values for the next four years. That is we will add these four values and we will place the total in between third and fourth years. So we will place the total of these values which will be B plus C plus D plus E here and let it name as A2. So we will continue this procedure until the last year is taken into account. Now we will calculate four yearly moving average. Now for calculating this we will divide four yearly moving totals that is A1, A2, A3 and A4 by 4 and we will get four yearly moving averages. So for this it will be A1 by 4 and let it be M1. Here it will be A2 by 4 let it be M2 and A3 by 4 let it be M3 and A4 by 4 and let it be M4. Now we will calculate four yearly moving average centered. For this we will add first two moving averages and divide by two and place this value against the third year. So we will write here M1 plus M2 whole upon two and let it be D1. Now in the next step leave this value that is the first moving average and add the next two moving averages which will be M2 plus M3 divide it by 2 and place it against the fourth here. So it will be M2 plus M3 whole upon 2 and let it be P2. Similarly here it will be M3 plus M4 whole upon 2 and let it be B3. Now for the graph Plot the points that is the third year with B1, the fourth year with B2, fifth year with B3 and we will join them to get the trend line. So this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now here this table is given to us and we have to calculate four quarterly moving averages. Now using this result which is given in the key idea we will make a table for the given data. So we have made a table in which the first column shows the years, second, quarters, third, all used in turns and we have to find 
one quarterly moving total, four quarterly moving average, and four quarterly moving average centered. Now, for the four quarterly moving total, we will add the values for the first four quarters. That is, we will add these four values and we will place the total in between second and third quarter. So we will write here 10 plus 14 plus 12 plus 11 which is equal to 47. Now next we will leave the first value and we will add the values for the next four quarters that is we will add these four values and place the total in between third and fourth quarter. So here it will be 14 plus 12 plus 11 plus 13 which is equal to 50. Now in the next step we will add these four values and place the total in between fourth and first quarter that is fourth quarter of the year 1995 and first quarter of the year 1996. So it will be 12 plus 11 plus 13 plus 19 which is 55. Similarly in the next step we will add these four values and place the total in between second and first quarter. So it will be equal to 61. Now next we will add these four values and place the total in between second and third quarter. Adding them we will get 67. And in the next step we will add these four values and place the total in between third and fourth quarter. So it will give 70. Now in the next step, we will add these four values and we will place the total in between fourth quarter of year 1996 and first quarter of year 1997. And the total of these four values will be 74. Now in the next step, we will add these four values and we will place the total in between first and second quarter. And the total of this will be 77. And next we will add these four values and we will place the total in between second and third quarter. So it will be 80. Now for the four quarterly moving average, we will divide the four quarterly moving total by four. So in this case it will be 47 by 4 which is equal to 11.75. And for this it will be 50 by 4 which is equal to 12.5. And here it will be 55 by 4 which is equal to 13.75 and 61 by 4 is 15.25 and 67 by 4 is 16.75 70 by 4 is 17.5 74 by 4 is 18.5 77 by 4 is 19.25 and 80 by 4 is 20. Now for the four quarterly moving average centered, we will add the first two moving averages and we will divide them by 2 and place this value against the third quarter. So it will be 11.75 plus 12.5 4 upon 2 which on calculating will give 12.125 which is equal to 
12.1. Similarly, for the next, we will add these two moving averages and divide it by 2. It will give 13.125 and we will place this value against the fourth quarter. So it will be 13.125. Now next we will add these two values and divide them by 2 and we will place this value against the first quarter of the year 1996. On calculating this will be 14.5. Now next we will add these two values and divide them by 2 and place this value against the second quarter of the year 1996 and it will give 16. And next we will add these two values and divide by 2 and place this value against the third quarter so it will give 17.125. Similarly, now taking these two values, we will get 18. Now next we will take these two values and we will get 18.875. And now next we will take these two values and we will get 19.625. Now we will round off all these values. So this will be 13.1. It will be 14.5. This is 16. And this will be 17.1. This is 18. And it will be 18.9. And this will be 19.6. And now we will plot the actual and the trend values on the graph. Now for the actual value, first of all we will plot this point on the graph that is the first quarter with 10 which is the code used in turns. So this is the first point on the graph. Now next we will plot this point on the graph that is the second quarter with 14. So this is the point on the graph. Now we will plot this point which is the third quarter with 12. So this is the point on the graph that is the third quarter with 12 which is all used in turns. Similarly we will plot all these points on the graph. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by drawing all these points we will get the graph for the actual values. And now we will draw a graph for the trend values. For this we will plot the point that is the third quarter with the moving average centered which is in the third quarter 12.1. So we will plot third quarter with 12.1. So this is the required point on the graph. Now we will plot this point that is the fourth quarter with 13.1. So this is the required point that is the fourth quarter of the year 1995 with 13.1. Now we will plot the first quarter of the year 1996 with 14.5. So this is the required point. Similarly, we will plot the second quarter of the year 1996 with 16, third quarter with 17.1, fourth quarter with 18, and the first quarter of year 1997 with 
18.9 and the second quarter of the year 1997 with 19.6. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we will get the graph for the trend values, which is called the trend line. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.